Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about semiconductor stocks. Um, one of the key players in this space that everybody knows about is NVIDIA. Uh, but there is a silent killer that has completely outperformed NVIDIA and nobody's talking about them. So I kind of want to talk about that today. And in the process, I'm going to give you guys four major stocks that I'm actually tracking, looking for opportunities um, in case they go through a split. It would be a wonderful opportunity to jump in and buy some of these stocks. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to semiconductor stocks, um, NVIDIA again is the poster child of this particular space, but there are other stocks that are, or companies that are part of it. So NVIDIA, for everybody that knows, they, they produce chips and they produce processors and all this other good stuff. But just those themselves, it's not enough for a data center to function. So you have you need other companies that do the networking side, uh, the storage side. So there's a lot that can go um, into it to getting a, a fully functional data center. But why are all these stocks really popping now? Again, I can tell you uh, two key reasons. Number one is uh, just the evolution of cloud computing as well as AI. Uh, cloud computing has been something that has just taken us by storm. Uh, if you guys remember, let's just go through a timeline here. Um, early 2000s, we had like the internet.com um, that just exploded. And then when we got into the late 2000s, we had uh, something uh, like social media that built on top of the dot com and everybody was happy with it. And then what came after that was the, the evolution of cloud computing that became the thing like, hey, um, every data center or every company is like, hey, we're moving to the cloud. And people were very happy um, doing that. So what happened was like most companies used to have data centers on prem and so now they are moving everything to, to the cloud and they're outsourcing this to bigger companies like aws like google like oracle so they don't have to manage their um, infrastructure that comes with it so they just have these data centers all over the country i mean i mean like they call them data farms like massive data centers which um some of them like you you go around you pass you don't know exactly what's going on in the building but once you walk into these warehouses it's like you see rows and rows and rows of, of, of racks that they use. Um, and those would be what you call cloud computing. Then you sitting somewhere can access those servers and use them to build um, or deploy um, applications or store data. So that is the evolution there. And then one of the areas that has been using a ton of this space um, or giving the opportunity for NVIDIA and all these other um, chip manufacturers to explode has been crypto. If you remember very well, people that mine crypto require a ton of processing power. So, and where you get that processing power from, you get it from these uh, semiconductors and chip manufacturers. So uh, it's a great opportunity. And I think that in the next five to 10 years, we're gonna be talking about it because everyone talks about AI. Even your great grandma now probably has heard about AI and probably asked questions about AI. So, um, and maybe crypto too. So those are the two drivers that I see that are pushing these stocks to keep going higher and higher. And so we're going to cover those. And again, we're going to jump over and I'm going to walk you through some of the stocks and then you'll see, I'll give you guys my, my, my final conclusion here. So, um, the first one, again, that I, I mentioned, this is a stock that most people, um, haven't heard about or even talk about. I don't see a ton of people on YouTube or anywhere talking about it. And this this stock or this company has quietly outperformed NVIDIA so far. And so, and this is super micro. So again, this is a, a wonderful company. Um, they are actually based here in the United States, even though they have manufacturing um, all over the world. And these guys produce high performance and high efficiency servers. And so if for people that are responsible for building data centers, you probably want to use these guys because of uh, the product that they put out there. So um, we're going to jump and take a look at the performance of the stock. But before we do that, I want to show you guys the other um, companies that are 
um, are in the space. So the first one here again is Super Micro, which I think is excellent. Um, number two would be NVIDIA. In, I mean, everybody knows about them. And if you can see here on their website, everything is AI, this AI that. So they talk a lot about AI in which most people, I mean, for, for, for the lack of a better word, are very, very comfortable with because they know the company and he's been performing like crazy. Um, NVIDIA, if you know very well, they produce this um, GPU. So they supply um, this GPU stands for graphic processing unit. So they are the number one in that space. And you can see why, because look at the partnerships they're having here with all these major cloud platforms, Oracle, Microsoft, um, AWS. I mean, it's it's no doubt that they are uh, one of the, the biggest in the space. Um, number three here is AMD. So again, this is another name that uh, people are probably accustomed to, especially gamers. So if you're a gamer and you've built your own computer, you probably know about Nvidia and AMD like crazy because I mean, obviously they produce um, these graphics cards that people use for gaming and um, with high uh, processing power or for people that do mining, um, in the case of crypto mining or Bitcoin or Ethereum, any of the mining work, they buy this because it gives them uh, um, a lot of processing power. So AMD is one of the top ones out there. And uh, number four on the list here would be um, a restart. Uh, a restart, it's kind of an intriguing one here because they are on the networking side. So when you build uh, a data center, what is happening, you have to be able to access that data center from anywhere in the world. So they build the, the network that people use to be able to access that, that data center. So, which is a very, very intriguing part of the whole system, the whole ecosystem. You can have the data center by itself without network giving people access to their the servers, it would not work. So a research um, has, really establish themselves as one of the key players in that space. So those are the four companies that I kind of want to show you. But again, most importantly is, okay, how are these companies performing, um, you know, from a, a market standpoint? So I think that's where most of you guys are probably interested. So let's jump in and just take a look here at the performance. So I'm going to start here with super micro computer or super micro. Um, if you can see here, I just pulled this chart. So this is just go by, by quarter, uh, which we can break it down like um, year to date. Um, we can go six months or whatever. So you can see this stock, um, if we just go back here. So this is uh, right here, this is 2023. So if we go up here, this is 2023 and then this is 2024. So as of, as of here, so if you can see here, 2024, December 2023, the stock was sitting at about, um, what was that, 280 something dollars. And then fast forward into 2024, the stock has gone from 280 and actually hit a high of almost $1,230. That is insane. Um, and this one, if you look at the overall performance during that time, this stock has gone up close to about 274 percent which is crazy so if you had put in a little bit of money down here you would have that you would have made almost 270 percent returns in just that short amount of time which is insane so now let's compare to this to nvidia and see what nvidia has done over that same amount of time so we'll go here nvidia was sitting at about this is towards the end of December. So NVIDIA is sitting close to about 400 and something dollars. And then fast forward um, into 2024. Um, again, today is the, the um, recruiting is in March. So look at the stock has gone up uh, close to about 94%. Compare that to 274% for uh, SMCI. Compare that to just 94%. So you see like SMCI has outperform nvidia like crazy but you don't get that name like most people would so again this is one that i would say keep your eye on and then um the other one i mentioned here was amd uh if you can see here uh, amd hasn't had the same amount of performance but they've got some good growth so if you look here 2024 um the stock is up 22.3 percent 
2024, which is excellent. So if you bought it in December, they were sitting at about 140 something, let's say 150, and then now they've seen a high of 227. So that's not a terrible return, but not compared to the other two, uh, just just been crushing it. And then um, the last one on the list is a, a research network. Um, a ticket symbol is ANET. If you can see here, this one is up close to about 30% for the year. Um, in December, we're sitting at maybe about $240. And then in 2024, they're up to about 308 as you can see there on the chart. So just so the, the four main uh, stocks that I, I want you to keep your eye on. I know we've talked about uh, NVIDIA here on the channel before, but I wanted to bring you guys' attention to uh, SMCI Supermicro because I think this is a wonderful one. Is it a good time for you to jump in and buy this stock? I would say probably no. Um, there's an opportunity here that they would probably do a stock split because um, they did actually said they were going to uh, maybe um, sell more shares of the stock and it did pull the, the stock down a little bit. But I think what they're probably going to end up doing is they're doing a stock split. So that would give people an opportunity to get in and buy. So um, for NVIDIA and um, SMCI, I think that's what's going to happen here. Um, for AMD, I don't anticipate any stock split. But again, any most of these stocks, if you're investing in them full time, um, always look for opportunities on pullbacks. Um, when a stock pullback, you buy a little bit and just keep doing that. So those are the four main stocks that I want to kind of point you guys um, to. So again, guys, these are opportunities that present themselves in the market. Um, for those of you guys that haven't heard about uh, SMCI, uh, Supermicro, again, I don't blame you because uh, it's not one of the what I call mainstream stocks, but they are quietly killing it. So put that on your, your radar, um, bookmark it somewhere and just keep your eye. If there's ever a split, which I will do a video here. If that happens, I'm going to jump on here real quick and do a video for you guys. Uh, just keep your eyes open. If you see an opportunity there, that would be something to jump in. And obviously Nvidia, you can't go wrong with it. Um, but again, I'd love for you to buy on pullbacks, not buy when the stock is actually making a massive move, unless you're trying to do a quick turnaround, which, it's very risky, but if you're doing a quick turnaround, then that's something you try, but you have to really know exactly what you're doing. But otherwise, always for long term, buy on the pullbacks. As soon as you see an opportunity for pullback, you put in a, bit, a little bit of money and go from there. So let me know in the comment section, um, what do you think about SMCI uh, outperforming NVIDIA? Is that even a stock that was on your radar? If not, um, which other semiconductor stocks are you interested in? There's a ton of them. We can maybe do a list of the cheaper ones um, that we can do here on the channel for you guys. If you guys are interested, I can do a list of like the cheaper options if you don't have the money to invest in this bigger one. Again, let me know um, in the comment section. And as always, guys, make sure you do your homework. Um, don't just take information and jump on it. Uh, do your own research and make sure that, that this is exactly where you want to invest based on your timeline. If you're looking to, to retire in the future 20, 30 years from now, then some of these long-term investments are good. But if you are somebody that's approaching retirement or somewhere there, then I'll just start looking at uh, may, maybe conservative options for investing, uh, maybe buy some index funds and bonds and whatever and put your money in. Um, and again, if you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.